I've had a story now for a little while that I've wanted to bring you guys, but I wanted to first learn some te- what some terminology meant before I did so. So that way I'm not completely ignorant. Completely ignorant. I'm still quite ignorant on the subject. But it's uh, certainly interesting. Breakthrough U.S. hydrogen fuel cell promises 200,000-hour life with minimal power loss. The new catalyst lost less than 1.1% power after 90,000 test cycles after surpassing the U.S. Department of Energy's 30,000-hour target. So I wanted to find out what the term test cycle meant. What the term test cycle means is brought to full charge and brought back drained 80%. Up, down, up, down. And then over time, the overall power output is then measured. I found this on this website. This is the electric battery testing procedure manual for, I forget which government agency, but it is a .gov, avt.inl.gov. So, but it goes through and explains. Okay, yeah, it. I'm not going to sit and go through the whole thing, but the, right here on page 40, It explains the testing cycle and what is specifically done in order to achieve the results to give you the quantifiable number, such as what they're giving you in this story. Scientists in the U.S. have designed a new fuel cell that has potential to significantly extend the lifespan of hydrogen fuel cell batteries to over 200,000 hours in a bit to develop clean energy solutions for long-haul transportation. And what this story does, it goes through the very specifics, and I do mean very specifics, of the procedure they used to create this and the previous disadvantages of fuel cell technology. To tackle the issues, engineers engineered an innovative particles within particle structure by embedding ultra-fine platinum nanoparticles into graphene pockets, leveraging graphene's extraordinary strength and conductivity. They then nested the graphene encased particles within a porous carbon-supported material called catchin black. The design reportedly shields the platinum from the degradation typically seen in alloy-based catalysts even before the intense voltage cycling required for heavy-duty vehicles, shaping the future of heavy-duty transport. Heavy-duty fuel cell systems must withstand harsh operating conditions over long periods, making durability a key challenge, Huang explained, adding that the pure platinum catalyst reinforced with a graphene-based shield prevents the alloying the alloying element leaching and overcomes the weakness of conventional platinum alloys. This innovation ensures the catalyst remains active and robust, even under demanding conditions typical of long-haul applications. The researchers were stunned by the outcome of the accelerated stress test, which simulated real-world driving conditions with 90,000 voltage cycles. Again, I explained what voltage cycle actually means in the official government testing. From 100... Bring it down to 20%. Up, down, up, down. The catalyst demonstrated a power loss of less than 1.1%, a performance far exceeding the 10% loss typically considered excellent. So we're talking about the ability to utilize power on a level we haven't, but electricity on a level we haven't been able to do, do before. According to Huang, the level of durability projects a system with a lifespan of over 200,000 hours, massively exceeding the DOE's goal of 30,000 hours for heavy fuel cells. That's incredible. So let's do a little bit of uh, math here. 30,000 hours. Okay. So 
sorry, divided by 24 equals 1,250 divided by 365. So your typical fuel cell would have a 3.4 year lifespan. Let's do this one. 200,000 divided by 24 divided by 365 equals up oh, over there. Where is it? Where is it? Over there. Okay, up there. Look at that number. Look at that number. 22.8 years. This is a breakthrough in technology. This is an incredible breakthrough. The applications of this are beyond measure. It points out that this fuel cell is eight times lighter than the typical lead, lead acid or lithium batteries of the same, same point. Let me bring that up here. Yes, right here. With a projected power output of 1.08 watts per square centimeter, fuel cells featuring a new, the, the new catalyst can deliver the same performance as conventional batteries that weigh up to eight times more. Just that in itself, the weight savings in batteries and still being able to deliver that much power, breakthrough, breakthrough stuff. Now, the same day that this article, this was, uh, what day was this? Was this Sunday the 27th? No, I'm sorry, this was updated on the 29th, but I believe this came out on the 28th or the 27th. On that same day, Toyota, the only company that has maintained a focus on hydrogen powered vehicles announced the Toyota Hydrogen Solutions website. With over 30 years of experience in fuel cell technology, Toyota is committed to the success of the H2 ecosystem. From fueling stations and plants to our North American hydrogen headquarters, we're invested in the hydrogen supply chain to bring you reliable, scalable, and efficient power. And this website goes through. Well, the fact that Toyota has been on the cutting edge of hydrogen fuel cell technology for literally decades, literally decades, they do have a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. Toyota Mirai is remarkably simple to fuel, thanks to improvements in both the hardware and process of hydrogen refueling. Current owners and owners who use the previous nozzle will find that the experience is easier than ever. Find your nearest hydrogen station and remember to check station status before departing. Station locations and status updates are available on smartphone applications and the California Fuel Cell Partnerships website. Hydrogen refueling is different from refueling a gasoline vehicle and the modern stations have several innovative perks. The hydrogen dispensers actually communicate with the vehicle via infrared technology to ensure optimal filling. Before refilling, ensure that your Mirai is off and parked with a parking brake set. Press the fuel filler door opener switch on the lower left side of the dash. Open the fuel filler door, remove the cap, and place it on the holder. Then check and follow instructions of the hydrogen station. For safety reasons, do not smoke or use your phone when fueling your Mirai. And remember, the fuel filler door will not open if the ready indicator on the instrument panel is illuminated. It will automatically relock if not opened within 30 seconds. Many hydrogen stations have two nozzles at the same dispenser that each provide different fuel pressures, H70 and H35. Just like a different octane. It's different fill levels, but it's essentially, as you and I, who are familiar with gassing our cars every day, would view this as just different octanes. And it seems almost as simple. There's one or two, you clamp on the, the hose and everything, but very simple. And it doesn't take 30 to 90 minutes, I noticed, to uh, charge your car. Just a few minutes to fill up, just like today at the gas station. And also may be displayed as 700 and 350 bar. The Toyota Mirai is compatible with both nozzles. However, H70 is the preferred fueling because it provides a full fill and will enable a longer driving range. If using H35, drivers should be aware that an H35 nozzle will not be able to add additional hydrogen to the tanks if the vehicle has half a tank of hydrogen or more remaining. 
When you're ready to begin fueling, remove the nozzle from the dispenser and place it in the receptacle until it's fully seated. Common nozzles use an integrated lock to create a secure connection for safe fueling. The collar snaps into place with a click and shows a green ring below the collar when the nozzle is fully connected to the vehicle. Once you've confirmed the nozzle and receptacle are connected, press the H70 button to begin fueling. It's normal for brief pauses to occur during fuel dispensing as the dispenser performs leak checks on the connection. It's also normal to hear hissing and pump noises from the dispenser as it maintains the appropriate fueling pressure for your vehicle. The dispenser will automatically stop fueling when your tank is full, but you can stop fueling at any time by pressing the stop button on the dispenser on the screen or by lowering the lever where available. After fueling is complete, press the black handle forward and pull the collar back to release the nozzle from the vehicle. Then place the nozzle back into the dispenser holder. You may have to wait 10 to 30 seconds or more after the end of fueling before attempting to remove the nozzle. At times, the nozzle may become temporarily frozen and unable to disconnect from the vehicle for several minutes. Those of you who have a propane tank on your gas grill or have utilized propane in other facets, are quite familiar with this. Do not try to remove it forcibly or you could cause damage to the nozzle, vehicle, or dispenser. Do not pour water or spray chemicals on the nozzle. Simply wait a few minutes and try again. For assistance, or if you notice anything unusual with a hydrogen dispenser, notify the station operator immediately. And if you need customer support, reach out to your authorized Toyota Mirai dealer or call 1-800-331-4331. Enjoy your Toyota Mirai with confidence, knowing that you are fueling the future. So Toyota has stuck with this since basically its inception. And if you want to know how a fuel cell basically works, in the article is embedded this video that does explain how a hydrogen fuel cell actually works. So you can get a full understanding of it. But now we're talking about the fact that hydrogen fuel cell usage can go global. We can get rid of these lead acid batteries. We can get rid of lithium ion. Hydrogen. Hydrogen fuel cells with lifespans in the decades. We've been looking for a new way to utilize and transport electricity. Perhaps the transport of electricity is done with the, the use of it in this way. I want to congratulate Toyota. I am a Toyota guy sitting out in my garage. Well, it's actually out front right now, not in the garage. Is uh, my Million Mile Corolla. I've done a video on it. It's on this channel. And the future is bright for electric vehicles. It's just not going to be in the way that uh, people perceive it. And I was going to mention that Toyota has received some criticism in the past regarding their stubbornness in moving towards lithium-ion battery-powered vehicles and battery-powered vehicles in general because of their focus on the fuel cell technology. And now it appears that that long-term vision and that focus is about to pay serious serious dividends for us as a species and Toyota as a company. That's what I got. I hope you like it. If you did, hit that like. Maybe subscribe and share it with a friend. Let everyone know. Fuel cell technology. It's really coming around and we are going to have a future filled with hydrogen powered fuel cell vehicles. Thank you.